Still tonight, Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, has announced that 100 care packages and more than 150 suitcases containing personal items will be collected from the ministry for shipment to Jamaican students studying in Cuba this week. The minister expressed gratitude to corporate partners Grace Kennedy and the team at the ministry, as well as the parents, family members and student volunteers who assisted the ministry's team to sort and pack the care packages. We are so grateful to our corporate partners, Grace Kennedy and the Separate Foundation, as well as to the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service for their kind assistance with this initiative. I also want to thank my hardworking team at the Ministry who has gone above and beyond the call of duty in pulling these arrangements together, as well as the parents, family members and student volunteers that helped the Ministry's team to sort and pack the care packages. The packages were put together based on a needs list uh, that was provided by the students. We consulted with the students through the embassy and um, through our Zoom meeting. The list uh, includes basic items, basic food items, toiletries, sanitary products, non-prescription medication and personal protective equipment, PPE such as masks, hand sanitizers and rubbing alcohol all particularly important at this point in time. We also want to thank the Cuban government for its overall generosity and commitment in relation to the scholarship program and for the recently announced relaxed importation procedures, which will help to alleviate some of the challenges faced by students as a result of the pandemic, including the treatment of this shipment, which is about to be sent. Now, inciting the impact of the pandemic on the ministry, the minister noted that the pandemic has presented new challenges for them to deal with, but they have always done their best to support with partnerships where possible. The pandemic has really thrown up new challenges uh, for us as a ministry to address, including the scope of care requested and available for Jamaicans abroad in distress. And needs have far exceeded our resources, uh, both human and financial, so, but we have always done our very best to support with partnerships where possible and where necessary. Uh, given our undeniable constraints and the location of Jamaicans in all corners of the earth, uh, it was therefore really important for us in our engagements on this matter uh, uh, to encourage students and parents to consider all the options available to them in their academic pursuits and to have family discussions regarding resilience and coping skills should they elect to return to Cuba at this time. We continue to wish them all the very best in their studies and look forward to improved conditions in Cuba and indeed the world.